terrible sex, as we came to call it. So, terrible sex! Yeah. I grew up in a crappy little small town in the south of England that moved to London. No one's really from London. I mean, it's such a fucking place. Fuck off. This song's about growing up in a small town and hating all the bastards who live there. This song's called This Town Ain't Big Enough for the One of Me. Go somewhere like this. Free house sound system and a fridge full of beers. Oh, now this story ends in a good few years. The night lays out before my eyes. There's no new faces, no surprises. This town's gone on with me, so I'll make a move. Everybody around here has been out with everybody else. So talking to God. This is for Paul and also for Jamie's dad and also for Danny who've all had birthdays recently. So uh, this is for you guys. Here it goes. The singer out to slip, no went to road to see the Pope. The singer out to slip, no went to road to see the Pope. The singer out to slip, no went to road to see the Pope. And the Pope said to his aid, Who the fucking hell is Sort of January next year, hopefully, if all goes to plan, and uh, it's going to be the best album you'll ever buy, and it's going to have this song in it. 
see the other day, right? Somebody accused me of being a moody. Uh, I can't speak. Someone accused me of being a moody bastard who only ever wrote depressing songs. So I decided to write a love song, but no one loves me. So I had to write a love song about the girl who will never love me back. So a little. This is a quiet song, so you gotta shut up. All right, shut up. Uh, this song's called A Decent Cup of Tea, and it goes like this. You've got to shut up for it. Hasn't been a day when everything had turned out right. She called me up and asked me to come over in the night. To make her cups of tea and listen quietly as she starts to list the latest list of bastards. Who trampled on her heart? Cause she summers by my seat, but she winters without me, and she cries. It's obvious to me that she never seems to see. I see her in the nightclubs and I meet her in the bars at rooftop after parties, all crammed into friends' cars. And we talk about the weather and how she drowns her pain in drink. And I nod and never ever dare to tell her what. Honestly, it doesn't matter, I know better than to cry. 
crowd I spill milk, wasted efforts, spoiled plans We're adults here, so shed no tears, I'm sure we can be friends I'll nod and smile and watch you in the arms of other men You say worse things have an ad to see I say worse things have happened to me Through the eyes of the bedroom Two and a half weeks in uh, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Russia, and Finland. And it was the tits. It was great. But we had the worst day I've ever had on tour. I've been touring for fucking a million years. And uh, we woke up in Tallinn, which is the north of Estonia. We had to get to Vilnius, which is the south of Lithuania, which is like two countries away. Shut up. Stop spoiling the story. We might, uh, okay, so we were supposed to catch a bus. The bus was full. So uh, we thought we were stuck in Tallinn. We managed to get a bus. We get to Riga. We're supposed to meet in car. The car is late because it broke down once. We get in the car, the car breaks down again. We fix the car. We get to the border. We have to bribe our way through the fucking border, which is ridiculous. And then we're finally, we're running like five hours late and a call promoter is like, we're going to be there, we're going to be there. It's okay. We're driving along 130 kilometers an hour, about 10 miles from the uh, Latvian border. And uh, we hit a fucking deer uh, in the road. We killed the deer. We killed the car. We killed any fucking chance of us getting to the festival, which was a good thing because apparently the festival was closed down by the cops because someone got stabbed. Uh, so all of this means that God was trying to stop me getting to this fucking festival. All of, all of this is building up to the fact I'm about to play a new song which is about being on tour all the fucking time. Uh, this song's called Sea Legs. I'm going to dedicate this to Shamul because he took me around France. So uh, there he is. Hey! He's a crazy... Let's hear it for Shamul! This song's called Sea Legs, it goes like this. Moving, keep moving, the tour never stops. In the light of petrol stations and cheap corner shops, I have finally figured a list of the things that I've got and the things that I'm not. I need you, I need you, I need you to care. When I'm moving, it's soothing. To know that you're there and that when I get home I can breathe you like any fresh air as long as I dare Honey, I'm sorry but I've got my sea legs again I stand on dry land for a minute I feel sick and then I have to start moving again Glasgow to Moscow, from London to Lille Sat on a platform or next to the wheel I haven't got space on this postcard to say how I feel But that was the deal I miss you, I miss you, but don't ask your help When I'm out on the road, I look out for myself I look up to my guitar, my clothes, and my wallet and my health Nothing else I'm sorry, 
So um, maybe find someone who works for XML Records, hold them down, and beat them within an inch of their life, and demand Johnny Records. One of the songs I cover for that is one of my favourite songs of all time. It's called The Outdoor Type, and uh, it's originally by a band called The Lemonheads. It goes something like this.
spent pretending that we're just becoming friends. If this goes any further than going back. I'm not being pessimistic, it's just you and I were never meant to be. Up this silly habit in the last few years of going out in the evenings with my friends into the town. Packing a spare t shirt in my bag in case I do not make it home. It's pathetic and I know it, but the truth is, every morning's up for prudent, taking two days to the pub. But that's precious little comfort against the knowledge of the person I've become. I have reports, he was at the show, he got halfway through the song, stopped and went, fuck it, Frank plays it better, it's his now. So this is my song now. This song's called The Huntsman Comes of Archie. Goes like this. The countryside is dying, the closing village scorns. What's your plan?
hands and then he smears the blood on his daughter's face and he drags her back to bed and you can call it up this way or when it looks like that to me call it bad behaviour or a waste of time and money and I've never been in favour of police brutality but when the huntsman comes to marching yeah give him one for me officer give him Seriously, we need this right now. Someone's got it. Okay, well... Huh? Is there one going Okay, fuck it. Thank you. Let's hear it for Lucy anyway. Well, that goes out there. Anyway, as many of you may know, we're recording the show tonight, and um, one of the tracks of it, hopefully, if it all goes well, is going to be on my album. Right? Um, and so you're all going to be on the album. If you actually want to be credited by name, then you've got to give your name to someone as you go out. There'll be someone with a piece of paper and a pen and all that bollocks. Um, but basically, this is a song called The Ballad of Me and My Friends, right? Now, have you guys been learning the words like I told you to? So we have a little run-through of the bit that you guys got to sing. For those of you who don't know, this is what was written on the fucking poster, wherever the hell it's gone. The words this bit are, we're definitely going to hell, we're definitely going to hell, but we'll have all the best stories to tell, right? That's what you've got to sing. Right? Um, uh, uh, how's it go? How's the song go, anybody? Um, um, that's it, that's the one. Um, uh, but how's it go before that? It goes, all about, okay, so listen to this bit. Those people who know it already, sing along. Other people listen, like, all that kind of shit. You're all about the destination, the take a fucking flight. Going nowhere slowly, but we're seeing all the sights, and we're definitely going to hell. But we'll have all the best stories to tell. And now you have to shut up. Let me last bit of my eye. I'm definitely. And right, so it goes on. So we're gonna re we're gonna do this now. We're gonna record it. But I have to request. Because it's for the album and it, blah, 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 can I request that people are quiet during the rest of the song? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so as much as I know you fucking love it and it's your favourite song ever, and you've got all the lyrics tattooed on your balls, um, <laughs> please just stare at the balls instead until we get to the crucial moment. So are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Okay, just before I start, a quick story. There's a bar in North London called Nambuka where a lot of my friends are I spend way too much of my time there, but it's kind of, it's like my home in London pretty much. And uh, this is just about me and my friends who live there. So, uh, shout now if you live at Nambuka. <laughs> you lying bastards. <laughs> Fuck it. Right, I'm going to play a song. So, we're ready. We're going to be quiet for the rest of the song, yeah? Okay. So, here we go. Uh, you ready? Okay, I'm going. Right now. Right fucking now. This song's called The Ballad of Me and My Friends. Everybody's got themselves a plan And everybody thinks they'll be the man Including the girls, the musicians Who lack the friends to form a band The singer-songwriters, the rest of us are
station to take a fucking flight. There is a song called Thatcher Fuck the Kids. And uh, it goes a little something like this. Yeah. Whatever happens to childhood, we're all scared of the kids in our neighborhood. They're not small, charming, and harmless. They're a violent bunch of bastard little shits. And anyone who looks younger than me. Doctor. 
dancers. I know, we fucking sucked. And after the spin doctors, I played in a band called Million Dead. And um, so here's a Million Dead song. I'm gonna shout this song to my friend Hannah for giving me a hand with the words of this. All right, here we go. probably be at the table downstairs, I would have thought, so uh, go, and, go and look for that when I'm done. Um, secondly, like, uh, you know, I'm from London, I've been fucking off on tour for fucking ages, but um, to come into London and have this many people at the show is fucking excellent. Uh, I've had the fucking time of my life tonight, I've got some of my oldest friends here, I've got some of my newest friends. It's fucking great, so give yourselves all a fucking huge round of applause for now. Most of all, though, 
I'm going to dedicate this last song to one person in particular, who's my friend Jamie. Now, some of you may know Jamie from the Million Dead Is or whatever. He's just been around Eastern Europe with me. Uh, I call it his, my nickname for him is Dad when I'm on tour because he looks after the money and he makes sure I doesn't I don't die. Uh, so if anyone's happy that I'm alive, they should be very pleased with Jamie as well. So this song's for Jamie. This is a song about getting way, way too fucked up. It's called The Real Damage. My name's Frank Turner. Thanks a lot for paying attention. I'll see you guys again. Take it easy. Woke up on a sofa in an unfamiliar house Surrounded by sleeping folks that I didn't know Failing to find my friends, I decided that it was clearly I don't really need 
just tell you that you've got to sing along with this. This is the last song I'm going to play. I'm fucking exhausted. My voice is going. But uh, I fucking love you all in an extremely fucking homoerotic and hippie kind of way. You guys are all... So here's my last song. Thanks a lot. Had, you know, safe journey home? Fuck, what am I talking about? Uh, fuck off. All right, here we go. Thank you. 